everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Christy, if you're new here. Wow, it has been so long since I sat down to have like a face-to-face -face conversation video with you guys. I don't think I've filmed anything like this since we were still in Charlotte and we're no longer in Charlotte, which I'll update you on that. But yeah, this feels like so foreign now to be doing this, but I'm really excited. Can't wait to update you guys. This video is going to be a cluster as per usual. We're gonna do a little update, but it's mostly gonna be the ramblings of a crazy person, AKA me. Uh, so much to say. So a few of them are important. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so below before we jump into the video. I post a lot of travel content, some lifestyle vlogs, occasional reaction videos, which I wanna get into more because um, my love of BTS is going nowhere. So <laughs> it's fine. Anyway, enough of that. Let me grab my list. I'm literally referring to this in the notes app as my state of the union address. Cause it's the beginning of the year. We're starting fresh. It's 2022. Um, by the beginning of the year, I mean like we're halfway done with January, but it's fine. You know what I mean? So the first big update on my list is that we are no longer in Charlotte. If you watched my last update video, you know that we left Chicago, we moved out of the big city and <laughs> we moved out to North Carolina and we were in Charlotte temporarily and we have landed in our final destination. I actually hate saying final destination because it reminds me of the final destination movies. And then like, I have these really like dark images that come to mind, but we're moving on. We are in our final destination, which is Raleigh. Hey, hey, hey. We live in Raleigh now. <laughs> so we're really excited to be here. The weather has been amazing thus far. Um, of course, we're getting a little bit of winter weather here and there because it is winter after all, but it is so much more mild than Chicago and we're really enjoying it here. We're loving all of the naturey outdoor things to do. We're loving exploring the city and we're just having a blast so far. So Raleigh, love it. I will be doing some Raleigh videos, some like little travel guides and whatnot as I get a little more familiar with the city. I'm really excited to show you guys what I've tried so far. Um, but that is not the next video coming. Like the next video is gonna be a Charlotte video, I think. But yeah, Raleigh ones are coming. <laughs> I keep having to move because I'm trying to avoid the sunlight and it's a very small sliver of the window that is blocking the sun from my face. Iconic. The next update is that I got a job. Um, as I've mentioned in some previous videos, I have been on the job search and basically the one that I found kind of found me and I'm really excited. I'm getting some experience in the field that I was wanting to get experience in and it's been really good so far. I just started at the beginning of December. So it's very interesting to figure out how to balance um, holidays and moving and work and YouTube. But now that we are settled, I think that um, I'm just gonna have to kind of get my groove with doing videos while working full time. But so far, I don't think it's been an issue. I definitely have missed a couple videos, but I'm just really excited to keep making videos and also work and learn more at work. That brings me to my um, vision for 2022. Let's talk vision here, people. <laughs> so for 2022, I mean, I don't really even know how I feel about a new year starting. Obviously with the uh, situation happening in the world, it's really hard to set goals and to make plans and kind of, I don't know, feel like you're progressing in some ways just because so few things feel like they're in our control. So few things are in our control, to be honest. I actually was on Instagram earlier and I heard this reel where the voiceover was talking about how they felt like they had really failed on their goals in 2021, but it's because a lot of the goals were external goals, uh, traveling, career, financial, and a lot of those things just aren't in our control right now. A lot of those things are hard to feel like we're progressing in them and getting to where we wanna go just because truly everything is a crap show, if you will. I think that's how I've been feeling. And as I've moved through the beginning of 2022, I think what I keep coming back to is that I want 2022 for me to be a year of introspection and a year of doing the things that I wanna do, growing the way that I wanna grow and really focusing on the things that I love to do the most. So with that in mind, <laughs> I had to move again. I'm like in a dark corner now, but hopefully this is not too bad. <laughs> anyway, I had previously been posting twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I'd really like to try to stick to that as much as possible. I know that's gonna be hard some weeks with my job, but my vision is that I would post travel type videos on Tuesday and lifestyle slash reaction slash random videos on Thursday. 
So that is what I'm gonna aim for. I'm not gonna make any promises because I know that there are gonna be weeks when I miss a day or two days um, of uploads just with working full time, trying to figure out what I'm doing and uh, the free time to edit and film and everything. So I really hope that that's what I can continue to do and that's what I'm gonna strive for is twice a week, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I mostly just want to spend this year working on YouTube, um, really taking time for my hobbies. I started taking a French class. Um, I want to really, I want to be committed to my reading challenge this year. I didn't complete my reading challenge last year, so I really want to do it this year. So I just need to stay off my phone, stay off of social media and YouTube and try to read in the evening so that I can accomplish that goal because I really want to do it so bad. Ugh. Um, what other hobbies? I don't know. I like drawing. I like coloring. I'm not a good artist, but I love to color. Um, I'm trying to learn how to draw. So basically I just want to spend more time doing the things that bring me peace. Maybe peace is my word of 2022. I just want to have a peaceful life. I want to enjoy myself. I want to have peaceful relationships. Um, I want to have peaceful hobbies. I want peaceful downtime. I want my work life to be peaceful. And so I think that's what I'm looking for in 2022 is peace. I have been thinking about my travel plans a lot for 2022. Obviously it's really hard to plan anything travel wise for this year, just with situations changing literally all the time. So there are a few trips that I do feel comfortable sharing with you guys um, that I am like 90% sure that they're gonna happen this year. Again, don't hold me to it if they don't because it's out of my control. I'll let it go, let it go. It goes without saying that I will be sharing with you all any traveling that I do. I will definitely vlog and take videos. It'll be so fun. But the one big trip that I know we are taking this year, God willing, is going to Istanbul. So my husband is from Turkey. He was born and raised there and he has not been back in years. We have not seen his parents who live there in, since 2019. So we are making it a point to try our hardest to go to Istanbul this year. We were supposed to go in 2020, but obviously the world imploded. So we weren't able to do that. So we are hoping to go at the end of April. Fingers crossed, pray for me. Just put it all out there that we will make it there. Everything will be fine. So we are really hoping to go there. Um, see Istanbul, see the site, see family, and we're really looking forward to it. Another trip that I am hoping to do is a trip to Montreal at some point this year, hopefully in the late summer. And then another trip that is kind of in the beginning stages of being planned is with my bestie Mel, who's in Shanghai. What's up, girl? Shout out to Mel, if you're watching. <laughs> um, she and I want to take a trip this summer while she's visiting. Um, we kind of threw it around the idea of a West Coast road trip, but we have not finalized anything yet, so... Um, I will definitely keep you posted on that, but obviously we will be filming that and that would be so much fun. So those are some things that I kind of have in my mind that I'm going to do this year. Hopefully we're able to do some other things too. Now that we live in Raleigh, we're so close to other Southern and East coast cities that I would love to do a bunch of weekend trips. So I think we can definitely make that happen. So I will definitely bring you guys along for that. Obviously. Oh. I'm literally so old, my back hurts when I sit on the floor. <laughs> I also, my birthday just happened at the beginning of January. My birthday is January 5th. So I am now another year older, another year wiser. Oh my gosh, the last thing I wanted to tell you guys about, um, which literally no one's gonna care about this unless you love BTS like I do. Um, please don't leave the video. You can mute me, but please don't leave the video. Just watch till the end. Give me those watch minutes, you know? But if you don't care about BTS, you can just mute, mute me right now because you're not gonna care at all about this story. So, okay, ARMY, I'm assuming that whoever's watching this now is ARMY. As you know, each member of BTS designed some special merch that they've been releasing on the Weaver shop. And I had seen, I follow a bunch of different like BTS fan pages on Instagram, it's fine. Um, but I had seen other fans saying that it's nearly impossible to get anything, that basically they sell out the instant that they're released on Weavers. So I kind of really wasn't paying much attention to it because I figured I wasn't going to be able to get any of it. So when I saw Jimin's merch be uh, announced and I saw the sweatshirt he designed, I was like, I need that sweatshirt. I literally need it. I will put a picture of it right here. It was purple. 
It says you on the front in yellow and then never walk alone on the back. You never walk alone. And then on the hood right here, it says in these tiny letters, seven with you. And it was just like the cutest sweatshirt and had a nice big hood. Obviously in BTS's music, there are a lot of different themes throughout it. And one of those is you never walk alone, like you're never alone. And I was like, I literally need this sweatshirt on a level that is unhealthy and unholy. I need it. So I did the research, found out when it was gonna be dropping. I literally got on the Weaver shop beforehand to make sure my address was put in, make sure my credit card was already set an alarm on my phone. Literally, I was like, Jimin sweatshirt, 9 p.m. Eastern time, I was ready. I get on there at 8.59, I refresh on my phone and it starts to reload, but I get that little like turning wheel where it's loading, AKA like 17 million people are on the app trying to get the sweatshirt. So I managed to have it load. I got to the page. I managed to select my size, add it to the cart. I literally went to check out. It was thinking about it and it said it was sold out. Literally his merch sold out in like five seconds. And it seems like a lot of fans are saying that they don't have protection against like bots. So people setting up basically these, I mean, my husband explained it to me, you can like set it up in a way that basically it'll like, you can get a hundred different things set up to all buy it at the same time. And yeah, I did not set up a bot. And so I didn't get the sweatshirt <laughs> and I was so mad. I literally just like was on my couch. I was like, just like turn off my phone I was like, so I didn't get the sweatshirt, needless to say. Um, and I was very upset by that. And now J-Hope is releasing a little purse and these really cute little like potted plant sets, which I would love to get that because it's adorable. And um, I'm not even gonna try because I know that they're gonna sell it instantly. And I really hope that they bring them back because honestly, it's really hard to find BTS. Well, one, a, like official BTS merch that I want to buy and like, um, there are, things on Etsy that people design and sell. And some of them are really cute, but I just haven't committed to any of that yet. Um, and I was just really excited about this sweatshirt that Jimin designed. I like really wanted it. I was like, <sighs> and I would have paid the money for it too, cause it was expensive. And normally I'm cheap. Like these little guys, <laughs> these are not official licensed um, BT21. I got these from Chinatown in Chicago. <laughs> But actually Barsh got them for me, but I love them so much. Um, it's hilarious. But yeah, so basically that was just what I wanted to share with ARMY is my frustration that all these people built bots and I did not have the foresight to do so to get a freaking sweatshirt. So just like I wasn't able to get tickets to their concerts in LA, but that is a story for another time, okay? Like I need to go look at some pictures of Jungkook to calm myself down. <laughs> I am unwell. Okay. I feel like I've talked about nothing for so long. Basically to wrap this up, I love BTS. <laughs> My goal is to post every Tuesday and Thursday. I will still be doing travel content as well as some lifestyle and reaction videos. Um, if I miss a video, sorry. I'm still trying to figure out how to do this while working full time. Uh, yeah, I guess here's to 2022. Here's to a year of healing for all of us and healing for the world. And here's to it being a year of peace and joy and relaxation and finding the good in everyday little moments. That was cute, Christy. <laughs> Before you guys go, please like this video, subscribe, obviously, and comment below letting me know, one, if you're ARMY, if you are, tell me all about your bias because you know I need to know. That's like a whole separate video I need to have a conversation about. Maybe that'll be a Thursday video because literally I love all of them so much. How can I pick just one? Also comment below if you have like a word of the year, I would love to know it too. Um, and if you have a vision for the year, let your girl know. As always, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it more than you know, and I will see you in the next one.